Hi, my beautiful people. Happy New Year. Welcome, welcome back. Yes, we are back again in the year 2024. Yes, we gave God all the glory. And we are back today once more with another interesting topic. But before I can begin, I want to say thanks to all of my subscribers. There were many subscribers Mostly at the end of the year, when the year was about to end, there were lots and lots of subscribers that joined my team. I want to say thanks to you all. And there were comments, a lot of people comment, some were criticizing me, some said a lot of good, good stuff, and some even gave their inputs, which I appreciate because it makes me to know that you guys watched me and what I'm doing is very great. Yes, and I know that is very great. It's all about being informed, inspired, and motivated simply by Boino. My name is Boino, and this is my channel. You are very much welcome. If you are just stopping by, I want to say welcome. If this is your first time, please subscribe and return viewers. I want to say welcome back. My name is Boino, and today I'm going to talk about some of the beautiful and wonderful things that the past president of Liberia, George Money, we are did some of us we don't know some of us we just got to know about these wonderful and beautiful things like i keep seeing things coming up up and down i was like wow this is great this is great yeah he has so many things in the pipeline and he has some things that he have accomplished which is so good for the liberian people there were some other things that people complain about lots and lot of things but but he he been there as a president, he was doing great at the last minute of time. Let me put it that way. Maybe not. But at the end of the day, we start to see wonderful things. For me, I start to see those things after his term expired. So, guys, that's what we are going to talk about today. Without wasting much of your time, let's get straight into our topic. <laughs> You know, Liberia is a beautiful country on the west coast of Africa. It's bounded by Guinea, Sierra Leone, Africa, and the Atlantic Ocean. And Liberia is this tiny little country that been into a civil war. And I'm from Liberia, so I love to talk about Liberia. There, but there are so many wonderful and beautiful things to talk about my country, Liberia. So I want to begin this year to talk about the wonderful and beautiful things that the ex-president, George Money, we are some let's say maybe one two or three of those wonderful things that he have done for the liberian people yeah i might not go into depth but i'm talking about this in pictures yeah you're going to see those wonderful things left for the one of the most important things that he did was the Liberia International Airport. And this airport, mostly when people are traveling back and forth, forth they always complain about this uh, airport. The airport is this, the airport is that. When you get to the airport, you know that you are in Liberia because they will say the whole place is so dark. The airport, when you're getting down from the train, from the plane, if you don't take time, you're going to, you're going to, go into a hole, your leg is going to fall into a hole before they bring the, the tray to come and uh, attach it to the train to carry you people. It takes time and then the buses, it's not easy. You got to walk long distance before you can even get to the plane. There were lots and lots of complaints and sometimes at customs and with the people there, like there were lots and lots of complaints about the Liberia International Airport and this airport is an international airport, yeah, and there was a lot of complaint about this airport yeah and with all of these complaints the president the former president of liberia josh manuel he did not just sit there he did something about it and so we are going to be seeing that in pictures of the newly renovated liberia international airport terminal it's very very beautiful this is one of the most important and beautiful things that the president did in liberia and he also did this park that they call the php park yeah this park is so beautiful it's a recreation center where people go with their family to have some wonderful and beautiful time yeah the other day uh my 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 godson he was like taking his family to this park and he sent me this picture i was like wow this place is so beautiful and people go there to have wonderful time beautiful time with their family this is another great thing yes we know does this president he he have not done like what some of the main thing that they expect him to do but he 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 was getting there like for me even during the election i was like 
if if they ask me who are you going to vote for i would be like let's just keep this president let him just remain there yeah because what he started let him complete it so i guess what he has started some of the things that he have not completed our new president joseph waka he will look into it and see how he can complete it and some of these things that that the, the ex-president money we have completed i guess those were some of the things that were in the poor plan but the form of president before his term so this is it that's how liberia that's how our country that's how development take place yeah sometimes all of the things don't happen when that president is in position they have it in a pueblo because some of these things it takes years for decision to be made for resources to be to be to be allocated for these things to happen and then when the when the president is there and when they're not seeing these things happening and then people be like this person is not doing nothing what is this person doing we can see anything that this person is doing but there are things that this person is doing in the pueblo there are things that this person been working out but but let's take for instance if there is a good leader that is in power in position that leader sometimes that leader can set the pave yeah that leader will set the pave for the next person that coming to follow follow that and bring it into reality it doesn't mean that that person that get there is the one that did all of those things it's a channel it's a process it's a just a timeline those things takes years and some of those things they don't finish when the president is in power some finish some come and finish it some stay there and they finish their work some pass it on to the next person and if that next person is someone who seek the country interest then you're gonna see they will take from where that person start and continue but others will be like no i want to do my own thing and it's not like that a country is not run like that you 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 continue from where the other person start things that have been in the Puebla. Once it's for the country, it's concerning the country. It's important. You pick it up from where the other person has stopped. You continue it. But some of them will let it go. They will leave it behind and start to do their own things. And then at the end of the day, before they start to pick it up. Yeah. Because some of these things that, that I would say I would uh, the former president have, have, have done lately that people are seeing. I guess those were some things that were in the Puebla or those were some things that, that he came about himself, that he put together, he and his team, some development, or it was some development that were in the Puebla. And if it was in the Puebla, he stayed for some time, yes. So during that time, they were working on it. But it's good that when the president come into power to pick up from where the other person stopped. If there is something good that was in the Puebla or development for that country, you can pick it up and complete it. And I know the credit sometimes goes to the person that finished the work, but that work has been in the Puebla, but our predecessors so we cannot say i i know every president that gets into power they did something they don't just come there and just spend that time and just live by itself some some people do the work they do the groundwork they lay the foundation yeah that's why you see a president can want to have a second time yeah so that he can complete what they have started but if they're not giving that opportunity others come they expect those people that come in who say they have a good platform to be able to complete what is in the Puebla because that is a good thing for the country development. But some of them downplay it here. Yeah. So I want to say a call to George Manu, we are our ex-president. Yeah, he did some great things here. Yeah. He did some wonderful things. I, I believe if you are going to be given the opportunity again of lately when he started really focusing on the country he was going to do good i said this to somebody before and it is just lately i started to see this development these things that he have been doing in liberia of late yeah and so apparently if he had a second turn, but notwithstanding we have a uh, President Joseph Waka, who with good intentions and good platform, will, will, will follow suit and also bring his own development according to his platform for the country Liberia, our beloved country Liberia. So this uh, pictures uh, in this video today is just to show us some development here. Yeah. I couldn't get, get all of them, yes, but I got some to tell you guys that the ex-president George Manuel, he have been doing some good and wonderful things of late 
in Liberia before his term passed. And I guess that's why he wanted a second time to finish those things that he had in the Puebla. Some of which he dedicated, some of which not are still in process. But we said thanks to him, he did a good job of all the time that he had been there, even though he paid more attention to himself before let day he started to focus on the country, let me put it that way, if I'm not mistaken, but yet and still, he did a good job. So we say thanks to George Manuel, and we look forward to our new president, Joseph Nimabwaka, to finish where he has stopped, to complete, to put into action, to bring up that foundation, to, to, to bring, Liberia to a stage that the people expect him to bring Liberia to. And he alone cannot do it. We have to work on with him. So I begin this year talking about this wonderful thing that Josh Mane did. And as we look forward for our new president, JNB, yes, our papa, to do his wonderful matching for his lot and lot of great experience that he have had over the year so my beautiful people welcome again to this year 2024 as i begin my uh new year's video my video for the year 2024 i'm going to be coming out with lots and lot of informative information about my country liberia you are free to leave me your comment in the comment section let's talk i love these wonderful and beautiful comments let's interact you can add up to what i said there are a lot of things but I, I, I just put a few in here and you guys can add up to some of the things that I haven't talked about that Josh Manuel we have did of late. So I want to say thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And don't forget to like the video, share the video. And I also want to tell you guys, my name is Boino and Boino have Boino's Collections. Visit my website, www.boinoscollection for your ladies and men accessory. I have every accessories for ladies. When I talk about accessory, I talk about washes, sunglasses, sunshades. I talk about belts. I talk about custom jewelry, handbags, scarf, ribbons, all of these things. And men, we have your wallet, we have your belts, we have your heart, we have your berries, we have all of those things at Boyner's Collections. Yes, the link is right there, and I'm gonna put it in the description box also. So visit Boyner's Collection for your ladies and men accessory. Yes, that's me, Boyner. Check out my website and check visit my page on Facebook, and you can inbox me, you can DM me. I will be there 24 7. So, guys, I want to say thank you. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And let's go on this year beautifully talking about our wonderful country and other beautiful, inspirational, and motivational things that we have stored up for you guys for this wonderful and beautiful year. I wish you all a happy year 2024. So, I see you there. I see you in my next video. Have a good day, guys. I love you. Stay safe. Bye bye.